Do you guys want to get bummed out? Yeah, you do. You want to get bummed out? Let's go for some Yuri and Riley. Yuri and Riley. Din, 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 din. Din, 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 din. Yeah, <laughs> let's talk about Yuri and Riley. Let's talk about Yuri and Riley. Yeah, so I put together this little clip from their stream. I cut up some clips of them in Amsterdam because it was legendary. There you go. So Yuri's on the hunt now for some sandals. Watch what happens, bruh. I'm just gonna have to get foot fungus. Such a oh my god we have flip-flops right here not a clue mate not a clue right over here i should go i should go tell him how's it going see how i think he got annoyed at that guy on the outside because i think he he asked him if they got sandals and they, he said he doesn't know and then he gets annoyed that that guy didn't notice the sandals it's like bro like whatever anyway you could tell somebody hasn't been punched in the face in it by the way he acts man like imagine talking to strangers you don't know this way like, Jesus Christ, Yuri, you need to relax. Take it easy, brother, please. I beg of you. Sir? Yes. Could you tell me now? No, I can't. I wanted to buy some sandals. Oh, my face is not coming, right? Uh, if you want me to turn it this way, I can go somewhere else to buy sandals. It's fine. Whatever. See, he gets annoyed. He gets into a shop. The guy tells him, I don't want to be on camera. And he gets annoyed that the guy doesn't want to be on camera in his private business he's allowed to say hey turn off your fucking stream and he doesn't want to and he gets pissy about it but unfortunately for Bury, this is one of the only shops that he found that sells sandals so the rest of his journey he doesn't find them and he gets heated still that he wasn't allowed to buy the sandals in the shop because the guy told him to turn off his stream he could have easily just turned off his stream and went back and bought the sandals but the pride the ego the hubris the arrogance whatever it is didn't allow him to do so and then he takes it, he decides to take all this frustration he has now on his girlfriend. Love it. Yeah, no problem. God damn it, I found sandals. I can't even fucking buy him because that dude's being weird. How's he being weird? He doesn't want to be filmed. You're allowed to say this you don't want to be filmed. This fucking creepy as hell. What's that band called? Um. Oh, set up. Fuck. What's that band called that wears old masks? It's on the tip of my tongue. The fuck is it called? Corn, fucking corn. There you go. Grumpy critter. You got to be wears, they don't wear doing something they illegal if hair, you don't want to be filmed, right? Face masks, That's the only reason. Oh, you must be a criminal. I don't know. You hear what he said? If you don't want to be on camera, you have to be a you have to be a criminal. If you don't like to have, be on sh some random live streamer's fucking stupid stream, you have to be a criminal. If you wanna, you know, if if you care about your privacy, you have to be a criminal. This guy, man, this fucking guy. You gotta be doing something illegal if you don't want to be filmed, right? That's the only reason. Yeah, of course. Only or reason. you must be a criminal. I don't know. Criminal on the run, or are you doing something illegal? Those are the two options. So bad right now. So pissed off. Oh man, He's looks so like angry. Dunkin' Donuts. That's about it. It doesn't look like it goes any any further. This is fucked, bro. And the check down this and the alley? thing someone so, someone mentioned someone mentioned it. I think the thing that's really funny about him too. He's in Amsterdam. If you guys don't know, Amsterdam is one of the drug capitals of europe you could go there to smoke weed you can go there to have mushrooms lsd there's a big illicit cocaine sort of scene over there also parts of belgium because they're obviously port cities don't ask me how i know this bloody blah 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 but a lot of shady people go to berlin and a lot of normal people go to berlin or go to amsterdam sorry so it's perfectly normal for a place like that to have people who are very camera shy or who want to go and enjoy themselves behind closed doors or in private it's pretty normal if there's shady business there but he thinks because he's an american or because he's got a fucking live stream going that that trumps people's own personal privacy 
No, I'm just going to stream everything. No, brother, you're going to someone's shop. Maybe outside you can do what you want, but going to someone's private business, they can say, turn off the fucking stream if you want to shop in here. And he could say, I need the sandals, so I'm going to agree. And he didn't need to turn it off. You could just cover the fucking camera, buy the sandals and then leave. But he doesn't because it's not done to his exact standards. And then his poor girlfriend has to receive the, the fucking, um, has to receive the consequences of this. Let's watch. You watch. You'll see. He's angry. He's upset. He's walking through. He's, he's going to keep getting more angry as he walks. Fix the more camera. Can't see shit. I'm going to fast forward a little bit here. He's still searching for him. You can't mm. find him. Here, I can fix it, but... Exposure, exposure, edit. Uh, the shower is being shared by the whole okay, shower for the next three days. Shower. Look, here, 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 here. shower, fuck these sandals. He's, he's not gonna shower. Back, back down. Fuck it. We're going back to the hotel room. Fuck it. I'm not taking a shower for the next three days, dude. Jesus Christ. Way worse. Fuck the damn shower. Fuck these sandals. Fuck the hotel. Fuck the pod. I am not taking a shower for the next three days. Everyone else could suck it. You have to, because it's a shared shower. The shower is being shared by the whole um, floor. I'm not trying to step on the same ground with my toes as everyone else, dude. I don't give a fuck what you guys say. I'm not showering for the, ne <laughs> for the next three days. I can't Jesus. find no damn sandals. And this place is all fucked. Use a trash bag, bro. Now you're making excuses. No, no excuses. He's back with his friends now. Watch how we're trying to go do fun stuff in Amsterdam. I'm not trying to uh, go. <laughs> we're trying to complete normal, normal life tasks that take an hour. He's getting frustrated. He can't find the sandals. He's getting angry. Cover your camera and, and buy those sandals. No, that guy can suck a dick. I don't want to support his business. The guy can suck a dick for saying I don't want to be on camera. Listen to this, dude. That guy, that random shopkeeper who you don't know and you only exchanged a couple of words with who politely said, hey, am I on camera? Can suck a dick because he doesn't want to be on camera. What a lovely guy this guy is. Bro, just let me buy the damn... Like, it's not that hard to be like, oh, yo, you're on camera here. Let me step off camera and sell you these sandals. Are the sand do the sandals have meth in them? Why the why can't he sell me sandals on stream? Why do you have to suck your dick to sell you the sandals? This is where it spices up. So he doesn't find the sandals. And again, imagine all this arguments happening while he's on vacation with two of his best friends, right? Potlord and Ali, the married couple. Right? He's there. Would imagine you're with you you're doing a double date on holiday and vacation and you're arguing consistent constantly with your fucking partner while your friends are there it's awkward you're making their trip awkward now because they don't know how to enjoy themselves they can't even get loose and have fun because every time they're turning around you guys are like arguing and shouting at each other and they do this thing now which is funny um watching their streams where when they're angry at each other but they don't want to speak on camera um they'll be texting each other <laughs> so they'll be passively aggressing texting each other on the sly all these little arguments they're having on text back and forth so they don't say it on camera but it's clear that it's happening because they're so tense the clothes are soaking wet i can't even what? change How, Ew, not... yeah they are oh. i give up dude fuck it no shower <laughs> why are you getting upset because now you're gonna take it up me bro i'm gonna take it really did you hear what she said the girlfriend how sad is that why, he said, why are you getting upset? And she says, because you're going to take it out on me. <laughs> She's like an abused dog. Like, rrr, rrr. When the owner comes in, she knows it's going to beat. Like, you know, it's, it's a dog. It kind of needs you. But it's also scared because it, the dog knows every time you come back home, you're going to hit him. But he also needs food. He also needs to be, you know, <laughs> he also <laughs> needs love and affection. <laughs> so awful, man, honestly. Should I get you shorts? No, it's fine. I'll get myself shorts. Like I'm I'll just get you shorts while you... I don't need you to... You're not my mom. I don't need you to give me shorts. I'm just saying, like... Look how he freaked out. Wasn't that like a little child? He's nearly 30. I think he's 29 years old. He's not 21 or 22, by the way. He does look really young. But look at the freak out. The waving of the arms. Like, like a little baby, like a tantrum. I'll get you the shorts. Don't worry. You're not my mom. So why are you acting like a child? 
<laughs> You're not my mom. Let's look at it one more time. That was incredible. I love the freak out. I'm I'll get you shorts while you I don't need you to you're not my mom. I don't need you to give me shorts. I'm just saying like like I'm what? bro, I'm frustrated because I, I couldn't take a shower. And I then think I he realized mid freak out that he was looking like a bitch and he had, he had to compose himself. I, I feel as like you're not my like, you're not my mom. <laughs> I think she's considerably younger than him too. Not considerably, but she must be like two or three years younger than him or something like that. So it makes it even worse that he's acting like this, right? And again, this all stems from him being ill prepared and not bringing sandals to a, to this hotel they're staying in. Even if he it was not his fault. Once you notice that there's an issue and you feel uncomfortable going into a communal shower thing with your bare feet on the floor, even though he doesn't shower, he smokes joints every day, he looks like he doesn't wash his clothes, for him to be suddenly freaked out about putting his feet on water, whatever, is another thing. But hey, do your thing. If that's the case and it's going to make you feel uncomfortable, make sure you get the thing when, like, before you need it. The night before, whatever, go and try and find the sandals. Don't put it on everybody else. I think one of the worst things you could do when you go on a holiday with people and you're in a group is to like make the group go and do the thing that you need to get done. Like if you're missing a hat or you need to get like a pen or whatever, you need to get something that's only specific for you. You should do the group a favor. Wake up a bit earlier than everyone's going to wake up or while they're getting breakfast, go and find your thing. Then meet your group and then go do the group activities. You don't drag your group around in the city that you're in visiting trying to find the one thing that you need. No, go and find it yourself or split from the group and tell them, hey, I'll go meet you later. I'll call you after and I'll go get my thing. But he's in this thing where like his sandals are now everybody's problem. Exactly, Josie. They say you don't know somebody until you travel with them. And it sounds like this girl's learning exactly, exactly, exactly. You learn so much about people when you go out to eat with them and when you travel with them. You learn a lot about people because eat with them, of course, you go to find out how they interact with the space around them, how they treat fucking waiters and shit and the people that are sharing the space with you, how they eat in public, how they just act in general, what they drink. But this is just crazy because again, it's a him problem. Nobody else. I'm myself shorts. I'm I'll just get you shorts while you I don't need you to, you're not my mom. I don't need you to give me shorts. I'm just saying like, like, I, bro, I'm frustrated because I couldn't take mom. a shower and then I realize all my clothes are wet. I fucking hate you, mom. Bruh, Jesus Christ. All right, let's get smoke. Now nah, I'm rolling myself up Pot one right now for sure. Yeah, Pot Lord trying to improve the atmosphere, but it doesn't help. Have you ever had friends like this where they argue a lot you can't do nothing to change the mood. They're going to argue. You just have to let them do their thing. Just let them get over it. Potlaw's trying. Okay, let's smoke. Let's try and make this fun. You can only smoke inside. You can only smoke inside. You can't smoke outside. You can roll up outside though, right? You can roll up. He said it's a 100 euro fine. To smoke outside? Weren't we, weren't we smoking outside? That's what I said. Yeah, but everybody's smoking outside. I don't think he might. I go up home. But it's not an excuse. No, I, can, I wish you guys could touch my... I wish you guys could... No, it's, who, I didn't even mention your name at all i wish you guys could touch my clothes they're all just soaking wet so i'm not gonna take a shower and <laughs> jump into soaking wet do you want me to bring them out soaking. you want me to bring them out they're yeah. hella wet why are you like would you would you yeah. would you wear them yeah i probably would because mine some of mine are too all right. I did, I not like not like that though. they're not soaking so he's trying to you should, i'm the biggest victim feel sorry for me they're not that soaking Jesus Christ, the passive aggressiveness is fucking amazing. <laughs> Bro, the shorts were like drenched. I'm gonna buy shorts or something. Bro, don't, please, dude, please don't. I'm like, I don't need you to buy me shit. Like, you're, you're so, you're, you're so drama, for no reason. I'm drama. Like, all of how can he? I love it. I loved it. I love how she's poking him back. I'm drama. You're getting all freaked out because you're missing some sandals that you should have bought yourself. You're buying me shit. Like, you're, you're so, you're, you're so drama. For no reason. I'm drama? All I said was I can't shower because all my clothes are wet. That's being drama. That's being drama. Yeah, it is. That's not being drama. They're just calling it what it what it is. Don't be. Bro, you were you you were you you said the guy in the shop doesn't get your business because he's being a douche for not letting you on camera. You were you know cursing the fucking sky when you're walking around the streets of Amsterdam trying to find these sandals. You came back steaming with your group of friends because you couldn't find your sandals. Like, that's being drama, brother. You should have bought them yourself. You're, you're being dramatic. You're being a bitch. I'm mad because you wash the clothes. Like, that's why you're mad. Oh, okay, cool. So I guess 
the girlfriend washed the clothes, but they didn't dry properly. And now he has a bag full of wet clothes. Okay, mistakes happen. Just go find a fucking laundromat and go to dry them. Most hotels, hostels have a place to go and wash your clothes. I'm sure for a fee, you can get them washed by them. Give them extra money. They can actually get them washed and fold and have them ready and folded for you. Or a dry cleaning place. It's not that deep, you know? Like, come on, bro. Jesus Christ. This here a grinder? 2020? Yep. It's out it. here? Got it. No, I got it all the way here. Oh. Imagine being on a vacation with your partner and arguing like this. Anyway, so he's still mad. He's still mad. He's still mad. Let's see what happens here. He's grinding now. Also, the fucking weed addiction is crazy as well, isn't it? As well, to be honest, that kind of like it's it's almost crackheady the the amount of weed that they smoke and how necessary it is for him to smoke it. But it's also funny how he smokes so much weed nowadays that he's probably used to it. It doesn't really affect his mood. He's still a cunt. He still is annoying. He doesn't chill out or mellow out at all. He's still the same kind of bratty, immature guy that he is when he's not smoking. So it doesn't really do much. Yes, you always fuck it up. Alright, come on, brother. That's the. Uh, fuck this. Whatever. Bro, how are you not laughing at this point? Like... <laughs> anyway. That happens and then there's a big apology when they come back home so they finally come back home and this is the apology i want you to watch the apology please watch the apology because i think this is very entertaining to see so after all that stuff happened they finally arrive back home and this is how they you know resolve all their issues in front of camera on their podcast called tent talks do have a lot of shit to talk about here because we just came back from a long a long europe trip london Amsterdam and then back to London and then back home um first thing I have to say off rip which is you know something Riley and I were talking about is she off. is she high or is she zanned out what do you think the girlfriend is because I think they're perfect I think there's a lot of love there to be fair I laugh at them a lot but they clearly love each other it's just they just display it in really toxic ways he takes the piss out of her she takes the piss out of him they obviously know how to press each other's buttons it's just not very comfortable to watch if you're an outsider but there's clearly a lot of love there. But she looks a little bit like she's not always there. I wonder if it's the weed, if it's a drought, or just her personality. But she's kind of got a bit of a glazed look in her face when she's sometimes talking on this thing. Stream, which is um, when we went to Greece, we stopped by London for a day, met up with Trapla Ross, and we were like, oh my God, it's so cool out here. We would love to spend at least a week out here. And we talked about it. We talked about it on stream. And uh, we for sure like had in our minds that it would be a cool thing to do in the future. And by the future we were probably thinking years in the future like at least a year in the future or something like that because we had just got back from greece and did all that shit but um we literally within the same year within like six months apart five six months apart we went to back to london and spent a whole week out there by Less ourselves than, yeah that like that that is pretty fucking in insane and uh, like always i have to give a huge huge shout to the harmonious gang bro no, none of this would be For possible real. without you guys and we really had like a once in a lifetime experience out there and obviously i've already seen the comments on instagram and youtube and all that stuff people are gonna be like how can you talk about the positives of this trip all we saw was arguing blah 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 blah. obviously some people are gonna no one's no one's gonna say that again the the gaslighting is incredible no one's gonna say you never had a good trip but we saw a lot of your trip and it didn't look fun i don't know going on vacation with my partner is usually a time to relax have fun like I said, fuck like bunny rabbits, eat a lot and just laugh and spend time with each other because usually on vacation, you're not bothered by your friends, you're not bothered by work. So you can just spend quality time with each other. These guys didn't have a great time together. It's clear. Trying to over-exaggerate, you know what I mean? Like the, the negatives because they, I don't know, like for whatever reasons they have, they want to over-exaggerate the negatives, but... You want stream 24 hours a day or most of the time. You spent a lot of your time on vacation in front of a camera we saw many hours of you guys together <laughs> why are you trying to guess like we saw what you we, we saw the streams bro they didn't look fun and all yes bad shit you know and like negative stuff did happen like in arguments that happened negative but stuff like at the end of the day ne like even you know, speaks we like when a, we were back like in london infant, right negative all in stuff all, it still was you know a cool trip it doesn't like make the trip like not cool anymore or it's like it make the whole thing just like whack or shitty yeah i agree it was definitely like 
Oh, the maybe she's just high. Like one of the best experiences, like especially doing it with like Ali and Tok too. It was, it was cool that we all. I'm sure Ali and Tok had a blast being around you guys. I'm sure they're w eager to go back on holiday with you guys again. I'm sure. <laughs> Got to like bond and mm -hmm. travel together because, like, I mean, we started in the RV in oh, vegas yeah. and then now we we went to the uk and amsterdam like that's crazy i know that actually is funny we did we did, i forgot about that we <laughs> poor ali and tug i'm so sorry i know that's you guys are the strongest people <laughs> that's one thing like you know just on the argument topic or whatever it is that's like one thing where wow like I, like i feel so bad but then also so appreciative because there's been they've been around for some tough moments for sure and then they never like are like even show any ne you know negative aspect to it they're never like man what can like what can they do though what can they do that's the thing he thinks it's a good thing that they didn't do it but that's what that's how that's how adults act and behave they just turn a blind eye to it and try and make the best of what they can or what's the time they have available what can they actually do pull you guys to one side and get involved in your business no thanks so they just ignore it and whatever and hope it gets better but it doesn't it doesn't mean because they're doing that it, it's oh they're cool no it's just like you guys are being fucking idiots doing all that shit on holiday leave it at home if you can please leave all your fighting for when you're in your fucking own homes or in your own little areas don't do it when you're on vacation with good company or at least just leave the arguing when you're just alone not with, with other people that's just that should be a golden rule come on bro fucking yuri and riley ruining our london trip like assholes or some yeah. shit like that they're always super positive and nothing but nice and just supportive so i appreciate them so much um, Ex exactly um josie good point there in the chat even if they paid for everything i don't think it'll be worth it to be with another couple that just fights the whole time and so toxic like that exactly even if they paid your entire way there your accommodation they looked after the fucking bill every time you went for dinner it's not worth it especially after the first and second nights it's like so exhausting you're not looking forward to it we've all been on holiday or out with friends especially out you, we've all been out with friends who are liabilities the ones that go out you go for a drink they get way too hammered too quickly and they want to start fights or they want to make friends with the whole club or the whole restaurant or the whole bar it's annoying it's exhausting how much exhausting is it going on vacation with friends in couples or in groups and they're just arguing and toxic all the time everywhere you go after the second night it's not cute it's not funny anymore you're not looking forward to going to dinner with them you maybe might stay in your hotel room pretend you're sick because you don't want to hang out with them anymore or you might go get dinner on your own that's how bad it gets so these guys aren't really understanding it from the other point of view it is really exhausting to be around people who constantly fucking argue like these guys do okay that that shit happened i know obviously so i'm not ju you think i'm just no no it? no i'm just saying that <laughs> to the people that <laughs> it's not How they argue so easily we, we understand that it's not fun to watch or... exactly and that's the thing also is when i do streams or the point of streams is to have a good time is to have a fun time and obviously there's a certain group of people out there who are who just want to see the negative sides and they just want to you, you know only post um, on negative sides you know they, they're just there for the like fucking the crash outs or whatever it is and you like crash there, out all the time community for that type of shit don't but them many all no, i do want people to be coming to the streams to have a good time and i feel nothing but bad for you know token alley for you know bringing the negativity to them but then also the chats trying to tune in see a fun london trip and i'm like bitching and complaining exactly. about photos you know what i mean or stupid shit like or that sandals so, I'm sorry, guys. And this is like my third or fourth time apologizing at this point. How about to your girlfriend? Not sorry to her? He, he says a very sincere sorry to the to the audience, but nothing to her on camera, no? That's why she's probably giving the evil eyes. No sorry to her on camera, just to the fans. Because they're the most important people. He probably cares about it. He probably fucked the chat before he fucked his own girlfriend. <laughs> he loves the chat. The chat rules his life, mate. About me. I really fucked up. <laughs> really? I did I have I not apologized to you? No, on camera. You could on air. Oh my god, dude. Why do you have to <laughs> say it like that? And then you make it sound like I don't want to apologize to you. <laughs> and I obviously and I literally loser, have bro. said this already on my first stream back. Just which apologize is, I owe now a huge again. apology if to Riley as well. Well, I'm sorry to you as well, babe, okay. because also there with we you, other than Token Alley, 
you know, I've acted very childish and very immature and done a bunch of, you know, weird shit. Yeah, and like storming off for dinner you because you're like a baby. have never, like, you know, did anything weird back and fucking, I don't know, like, it's like me crashing out. It's not like you crashing out ever. It's like every time it's like me acting weird and then you just dealing with it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Good. For ruining At your least, London trip. Finally. <laughs> your London slash Amsterdam. My special trip. Your special trip. Give your her a hug. Week. Give her a kiss or, or something. A week and a half. I keep saying Jesus. week and a half or it was two weeks. Like, it was almost two weeks. We, Damn near two weeks. We left the second and we came back the 14th. Anyway, that was the apology. That's them in love, I guess. If that's love, I don't want anything to do with it, to be fair. That's fucking exhausting and toxic. But hey, if it works for them, I guess we're, we must be happy for them in some respects. But not for me. Not for me in the slightest, my friends. Not for fucking me. 